Welcome to this video, my name is Eva and in this video I just give an update about my life and just the future and just really important topics for me. So yes, I'm back from the Canary Island, it's been really an experience and for me personally a really great time and I could learn so much and for me personally also develop a lot and grow a lot as a person as a personality character wise so that was really nice and yeah and now also the time being back in germany i just found it to be so strange it's like you you come back from around one year abroad and then everything is so different but also everything is the same and you just kind of start where you finished and it's super super strange and another really interesting feeling was when I was living in the Canary Islands I missed um, my home, my family and also my culture and that was something super surprising to me because when I left Germany I was like oh I will never, <laughs> I will never um, miss this place because it's not really where I want to live um, but when I was in Gran Canaria I really missed missed and uh, missed like my culture in a way and i'm not sure if if i was homesick because i really missed the culture or if i was just challenged with new challenges that i have not dealt before like living with people from different countries or not really being able to speak the language so well uh, or communicate with people so maybe i was just challenged and was scared and wanted to be in this safe place of my family so i don't know i also don't know how it will be in the future because my plan is to not continue living in germany that's something i decided for myself like germany is good <laughs> and has definitely a lot of benefits but for me personally it's not where i feel my best especially because of the climate i mean it's raining so often and i'm not a winter person for me when there's sunshine and when the the weather when the climate is warm when it's like warm outside i get so energized and i'm like so happy not always but a lot happier and when it gets colder i just get slower and i'm not as energetic and i don't want to get outside and i don't want to move my body and i don't i'm not as happy and i don't like that so for me personally my dream is still to live in a country or a place that has amazing warm weather all year round and that's in Europe and the Canary Islands for sure. So my goal this winter is to go back to the Canary Islands, either Tenerife or Gran Canaria, that's my goal. But of course there are just a lot of log logistic things that I have to work out. Also I have a new job. So I have to see, okay, can I, can I do it online and all of that. Um, yes, but it's just definitely something I, I want. I, I want to go out of Germany and I want to go back to the Canary Islands for sure. And yes, because I'm, I'm done with winter and I, I had 20 years or 19 years, 19 or 20 years of winter and it's enough. <laughs> it's enough for my life. Um, yes, and also I could imagine living in different countries such as Indonesia or Thailand or maybe Costa Rica but I like since I came back to Germany from the second day, the first day I was just super happy to be here and the second day I was already like thinking so much okay where I want to move, where is it nice and where is the climate good, where is the food quality good and all of that and i'm just thinking a lot and i don't know um how how it will develop because you know life is has its own plans sometimes and you just go somewhere that you don't think you would end up however i think it's important to have some goals i mean for me the goal was to go to the canary islands and it's been amazing i want to go back uh, because in europe for me that's just the the best place for me personally because the climate is amazing i love the culture i really like the people they're super super nice and yes and i will just see my my goal is to go to different countries and live there for maybe some months or for for one year and just see how is it really to live there because for example if i go to bali 
um, I could imagine that I would miss my family or my origin, origin where I come from, like Bavaria, Germany, a lot. Um, so I don't know if, if I could imagine myself really having children there because I really want children one day. Uh, so I don't know, <laughs> but I definitely want to try it out. Um, but I could, I could now at this time I could see myself with a family, um, living on the Canary Islands, especially because my mom and my dad are not like they're they're getting older. So one day I would love to, if my mom is getting like really sick, um, to not bring her maybe to Indonesia but instead bring her to the Canary Islands where the culture is not too different uh, to German culture and where I can take care of her and really integrate her and where the climate is maybe nicer than the winter in Germany. So that is my goal. But lots of logistics. I just want to talk with you about it because I believe that there are some people out there who have the idea of moving to a different country or just living abroad in a different country and I can definitely say just do it it it's one like for me it was one of the best experiences in my life just to discover a different culture and to, to see that it's possible and not too difficult <laughs> to live in a different country and that it's possible and just see okay what do I really need but at the same time it's <laughs> like um, I think there's a, there's really a difference and that's what I realized now between going in a different country for maybe one year um, or maybe two years and really moving to a different country, especially if it's a country um, that is where you have to go with a plane. It definitely uh, takes some time to really understand how is the system working in the different country and all of that. And yeah, just a lot of logistics to figure out. But I personally also believe <laughs> that if you really have a goal and you want to achieve something, that you should go after it. Because um, even though you might realize that this goal was not really uh, what you... Or for example, you want to move to the Canary Islands and then you realize that you don't like the culture for... For example, the, the streets are dirty or something is not working and the way it used in your home country. Oops, sorry, my mom came in. But what I wanted to say is that when you realize that thing that you have a goal and then so, like the goal is not really what is meant for you, then that's also okay. You can still pivot and turn. But the important thing was that in the first place, you went after this goal and you, you developed the habit of going after your goals and believing in yourself even though in the end you realize okay maybe it's not what was meant for you but maybe it really is what was meant for you for for me the Can canary islands they feel amazing like really good <laughs> really really like like home in a way i would say so yeah really go after your goals and your dreams and and think that it's possible and yes, because you will really, really, really grow so much. So this is just my, my situation now. <laughs> so my end goal is to work on my business because I know that this is my life passion. Um, in the future, I want to have a family and I want to live in a climate that is warm. So business, family, warm country. So this is my goal for the future. And yes. So this is really what I want. And also, one thing that I want to talk about is actually price and money. Because I think a lot of people s believe that if you go in a different country that it's so much more expensive. But this is not the case. I mean, in the Canary Islands, I spent the same that I would spend in Germany. Maybe even less, I think less, than I would spend in Germany. Just because the prices are a bit cheaper. So, okay, maybe because when I live with my parents, I don't have to pay rent. But, you know, if I uh, go in a, or rent an apartment in Germany, or if I rent an apartment in the Canary Islands, it's probably I get more for my money in the Canary Islands. And if you go to a, to a country uh, that is, for example, in Asia or in South um, America or maybe Africa, you get a lot more for the money. Like in Germany, 
and it's so it was so funny because a little bit of a culture shock when I came back we went to to a um, beer garden which is basically just a garden where you drink and eat and I ordered a water and I just paid four euros for the water and I was like dude <laughs> it's just water why do you charge so much I mean in, in the Canary Islands I would pay one euro and probably if I go to Asia I would pay 20 cents or something or 50 cents so yeah I just personally believe that if you don't have that much money and if um, you um, want to spend less money but get more for the money that you have instead of always complaining about your not so good life in Germany or that prices are so high in Germany etc maybe you just want to explore and go to Asia live there a little bit and just have more for your money but of course <laughs> Um, it's it's easier said than done, but still, I think it's important to have that in mind that um, you don't have to suffer. I personally believe everyone has to has challenges and difficulties in their life just to grow and, of course, develop um, compassion towards others and, you know, uh, change their life situation if something is not working. However, if your life becomes a struggle and if you don't like your life in general like you work in a job that you're just not believing in then i think you have the the opportunity or the possibility to change it and to really say no i don't want this for myself i want to live a different life and that it's possible to do so and you have to figure out the logistics but with youtube you can just type it in youtube how to move to a different country what should i um, know maybe get a coach also I, I love coaching so maybe get a coach and also maybe get, get into courses or something and learn how to move to a different country and what you should uh, you know do and then do it <laughs> i think that's really great but of course every every like some people like winter i don't <laughs> but some people like it so everyone has to find their country that they feel um good and that they feel they belong to i personally like it's so weird like one part of me belongs to my culture but on the other hand i don't belong to my culture so i feel like is is germany my home is bavaria my home i don't know because now i'm like in a in one part in one way yes in one way no it's like weird so what i want to say with this video if you want to a different country do it <laughs> And maybe just live there for some month or a year uh, to see how it's like um, but you don't have to be stuck in misery you can get out there out of misery and it's okay if you don't like something about your country it's not like winter for me it's not still not weird it's just people are so different so everyone has preferences so if you have the dream of moving to a place you can do it and I believe in you and I think most of the people won't regret it but of course make smart financial decisions as well and yes just be smart about it but if you watch the video I'm pretty sure you're going to be smart about it and that's it I will let you know if it works out uh, with me going back to the Canary Islands because I still have to study finish my bachelor's um, degree in Germany but no, like I hope it's going to be online, then I can go, but I will see. And that's it. I really hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Like, I really want to say thank you, by the way, just for watching and being with me on this journey of growing up and just of, 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 this, of, this, of this journey and of this uh, YouTube channel, because it really means a lot that people watch and that people care. And for me, YouTube is super, super important, not only to share a positive message about like eating healthy and vegan food, but also just about expressing myself and really share what is important to me, because on YouTube, I feel like it's the place where I can really share myself and really be very authentic and be myself because that's really important to be yourself and yeah and just put myself out there it really helps me also so i just wanted to say thank you so much for being 
here with me and I hope you have a wonderful day. If you want to learn more, then definitely click in the link in the comment section or the bio. I'm working on a free, like on an improved version of the free raw vegan meal plan. It's going to be like 80 pages or something, so a lot, where I put a lot of information in there. I don't know if I will, when I post this video, if I have yet finished it, so, um, or not. <laughs> I hope yes, but I don't know. And yes, but I will let you know. Definitely check out the link in the bio or comment section. Like the video if you did. It would be super awesome. And for more content, subscribe to my channel. Lots of love and I see you soon. Bye.